Hello, YouTube. This is Super Mario All-Stars Super Mario Brothers 3, made by Mario. The link to this video is testvideos.org slash 6184S. It is a new submission, so it's not yet a publication at the time of this recording. I have Maru here in the channel. He's the one that helped make this. And what was interesting about this is that it was possible to get the Super Mario All-Stars version of Super Mario Brothers 3 finished faster than the NES variant, which is pretty amazing. So we're going to try running through this. It's not entirely clear if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. So here goes. I'm going to quickly show you my terminal here. We're going to type restart and hit enter. So I'm going to hide this, and here goes. Now there is a reset wire going to the underside of the console. This is the first time I've run it, and nothing happened. <laughs> Um, so, that's not uncommon. We always seem to have something that is not quite right. So we're going to list out the movie here. I'll show you the configuration I have. So I've told it that I have con the connectivity on ports 3 and 4. So port 3 on the Taslink board, this Taslink board was made by Micro 500, uh, is going to port 1 of the original Nintendo. I'm sorry, the Super Nintendo. And port 4 is going to the second port on the Super Nintendo. Here's the uh, R16M file that we're working with. Might not be dumped correctly. We're not entirely certain that it works. Uh, by the way, is this the one dumped from BizHawk or the one dumped from LSNES? That is BizHawk. Uh, can you provide me with the one dumped from LSNES? Because I have a funny feeling this one does not work. At uh, all. The one L in LSNES, it dumped it. It desyncs in about the third level, so I can provide you with a run that it gets up to that far. The rest of the file probably won't work, even if it does get past that instant. Well, seeing as this one doesn't even start, that sounds like an improvement. <laughs> okay. So me a moment. what you're experiencing is ridiculously common. A lot of times when I put stuff up on YouTube, all you see are the successes. You don't see the failures and all of the sweat and blood and tears sometimes that go into making this work. And I'm kind of exaggerating it a little bit, but honestly, there's so much effort that has to go into getting just one run to work. It's, uh, it's not uncommon at all. Uh, so I'm going to exit out of this. I'll show you my terminal while we're working here. I'm not going to save that. Um, are you going to dump it to the exact same file name? Uh, no, I'll just put it as regular. Oh, yeah, you have a frame. Yeah, you got it. yeah, let me know when you've got it copied over. So this is a pretty common occurrence. Basically, the movie that we're working with was made in BizHawk, which is not the most easy emulator to use for our purposes. It's not a bad emulator, but it is not necessarily as good as what we want to do. Um, oftentimes we see that there are some funny issues when we're trying to dump files from the original BizHawk format into the format that Taskbot needs. So what's happening here is the Mass32 is here on the voice chat. He's also, well, the Mass3212, I think you are on, on Discord. Uh, he's also yes. dumped the same file from LSNES, and he has the access to, to dump files into this dump folder, or dump directory. So as soon as he's done copying it, oh, I see someone's uh, painting. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, what is your ETA, the mass? I'm just connecting now to transfer it. Awesome, thank you. So this file that we're getting is nothing more and nothing less than a series of buttons to press in order. It's adapted from a tool-assisted speedrun movie file. In an LS and ES case, this would be an LSMV file. And what we're doing now is uh, converting it into a format that goes directly to Micro 500's Taslink board, which is this board that you can see. Uh, let me pull the camera back just a little bit so you can see Taskbot. This, this board right here is... Uh, kind of under this controller, if I lift this up just a little bit more. All right. That's the Taslink board made by Micro 500. It's a pretty useful and versatile device, so we use it a lot. So we're going to run uh, Taslink software. We're going to type new. And the new file is maru, smb, smb3, and my options are .frame.r16m. 
So I'm going to say that it's plugged into TaskLink port 3 and 4. We're going to say it's a normal run. There's 16 buttons that it'll read every time. These options are usually used for NES. I'm going to say that there's zero blank frames to prepend for now. And that's probably wrong, but we'll find out. So when I hit restart, it'll pulse a reset pen on the bottom of the console. The console is otherwise completely unmodified. So let's hit enter and see what happens. So still not quite getting there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say that at the beginning of the run, we're going to modify the frames. We're going to say there's one blank frame at the beginning of the run. Now I don't need to save that. Let me hide this window and run that again. We'll see what we get this time. And I'm still seeing TaskLink pressing buttons or TaskBot pressing buttons, but nothing's actually happening in the game. So that could be a couple of different things. It could be that I don't have cables incorrect, which is always a possibility. Let me double check that. But I have a funny feeling if I were to switch over to a different game, it would magically work. It is indeed the new bot. So, nothing's working there. Let's do one more run. I wish these things were simpler. So let's modify frame, set it to two, restart. But I'm not seeing any buttons at all being hit. It's like as if it's missing them entirely. Okay, so we're gonna try modify and put it as 60. <laughs> But I don't have high hopes here. It seems like it's just not pressing any buttons. And yes, this is definitely a late stream. And um, complete failure, because uh, for some reason, TaskBot is not pressing any buttons at all. Let me try something. So I'm going to plug in my own controller. So now uh, I've got my controller connected. And I'm assuming it's start. So let's press start. Yeah, works fine. So there's something wrong either with the dump or with my connectivity with TaskBot. Uh, but this run is dead in the water. Just, just try the known good version of the script just in case it's the version of the script. That's All right, we'll do that. All right, one more time. Just in case. Hey, hey, guess what? That was it. All right. So this is Super Mario Brothers 3 in the Super Mario All-Stars variant. And Maru, I'm impressed. I am already very impressed. That, that was pretty fast. So this one will definitely desync. We know that it doesn't complete. We'll, we'll try this file, and then uh, after this one desyncs, we'll head off to uh, the BizHawk dump of it. So I blamed the dump script earlier because we've had a lot of trouble with dumping directly from BizHawk in the past. It just seems like it doesn't work well. But we have both files, so we'll try both. Now, where do you suspect that this will desynchronize? In this world? Okay, right there? Is that the expected desync location? Is he get heated in Nightblock? Yeah, it looks yeah, like... That's uh, what I'm seeing in the SNES as well. Alrighty. So here's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll have to do a little bit of a reset here. I have to manually uh, reset this game because... I don't have a dump script, I mean, I don't have a delete script, and uh, it does set a few things. So first of all, I'm going to manually go in, 
Okay, it didn't create any file. That's good. But I have to start the f the Super Mario Brothers one game before I do anything else, because now we're appearing here on Super Mario Brothers three. Where we need to be is is uh, here. So now by starting the game but not doing anything in it, it sets a flag in SRAM that tells it to start from Super Mario instead of Super Mario Brothers three. So next we rebuild our configuration file just the same way as we did last time. So I'm going to show you my terminal. We'll exit out of here, go in, run it one more time, say new. We're going to say Maru, but this time we're going to do the biz, uh, the bizhawk, the bh version of this file that he dumped earlier. Again, it supports three and four. All of these options are the same. We're going to use one blank frame and type restart, and here goes. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign right there. That's not a good sign. <laughs> it, it did start there before, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So something seems like timing was not quite the same. Hard to yeah, that say. That generally seems to be the issue. Yeah. That, that does seem to be a, an ongoing problem. Even there, that looked really funny. He's not even, like, running. So it doesn't even look like he's pressing the right combination of buttons. Even... I know this is the wrong game, but the controls are not that different. <laughs> well, maybe they are. Maybe they are different. Maybe Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, is using a different button for run. Because I bet what they did for... This one is, I bet, it, I bet they made it B and A instead of Y and B. Although, it's kind of amusing seeing how this is working. <laughs> like, that was really funny. So, I would love to come in here and tell you, we got a perfect synchronization right out of the gate. But that just doesn't happen. So often, we start running these games, and it takes us sometimes hours to get Mario to not fall in a pit. <laughs> or just to get started. It's just how tool-assisted speedrun console verifications can be. So this video is going to go up on YouTube because I think it's important to show failures. I think it's important to be honest about how challenging things can be. And this is something we may fix. We may, may have to do quite a lot of work to resolve. We might need to resynchronize this whole run using... <laughs> this looks ridiculous. We might have to resynchronize this whole run using LSNES, which means minor, minor changes to get things back in sync. It's not entirely clear how much it's going to take to get this to work. But that's okay. This is part of the process. This is how the sausage gets made, and sometimes it's a little messy. Thanks again for watching, YouTube. We'll be back again next week with something really interesting. So take care. We'll talk to you again soon.